Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, so I was telling you how I've been chasing down this Myers Manx for about 10 years, and I finally wind up scoring it and getting it home. There was a lot of things that did make me think it was a Manx, a couple of things that made me think it was not an original Manx, but I did get it home, and um, we did a complete teardown on the thing, and... Regardless of what people said on the internet and what I believe, even if it is a true Manx, it was just the body was just too far gone to get back on the road. Not worth salvaging. So I'm going to strip it. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to get rid of it. And I am going to put on a brand new lime green Myers Manx classic body on the car. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. This last shot is what it looks like now. It's cut up into a bunch of pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Here we are. It's been such a battle trying to get this roll cage out of here. You can see that it's got brackets going into the shock towers over here and it's just a mess. So I'm cutting it out as much as I can. I'm gonna get the hood off so I can get in here and get the rest of this taken out. But you can see, I mean, look at the job they did to try and extend the length of this. And here's my pile outside with the scrapper so far. And we got more that's going to join it. All of the rest of this is cut out, so got one little piece right in there to get with the sawzall. And I'm going to yank this out. And then we're going to get under here and then bolt the gizmo that they had here for the rear cage. And you can see the gas tank mount was in here as well. And it's just a mess down here. Let's see if I can get a better shot. So more than likely this body's gonna get scrapped because if it is, even if it is a real Manx, it's pretty far gone, but I have a feeling that it's not even a real Manx. There's just a couple of things that are Change my mind. And like I said, it's so far gone that it wouldn't even be worth saving. All right, I'm going to dig the rest of this out. See you in a little bit. Okay, here's what's going on in the shop. I cut the roll bar out of what we just figured out to be a fake copy of a Manx. So I stole the hood and I put it over there on the citation. It's going to look good. It's got a great set of seats for my buddy Paul Kenny. Not sure what they are, but they are going to work pretty sweet. So like I said, most of the roll bars all the way out. Still going to contend with this. This body is really trashed, as you can see. I mean, everywhere you look, it's messed up. It's got tons of holes in it. This firewall, it's a mess. Back here, it is chopped up and hacked up, holes in it, cracked, repairs. God knows what happened over in that corner. So this body is pretty much trashed. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day tomorrow getting it pulled off of this pan. It does run and drive, so it's gonna be a good start for the lime green. Myers Manx. That's it. Just a little update. Got plenty more to do tomorrow. Okay, makes it a lot easier to cut this thing up than to try and unbolt this whole mess that's going on. Give you an, sub, an idea of some of the holes that were in it where it would have just taken too much to repair. And since the garbage man's coming tomorrow, I might as well get it in the trash can. And there we have the back of it. The firewall, as you can tell, pretty banged up. Okay, with most of the stuff stripped off the body, I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of it.
Let's go. Okay, I kind of forgot to get everybody caught up. But I had stripped the body, pitched most of it in the garbage, you know, getting rid of it. It's not a real Myers Manx, and even if it was, the body was shot. So I had this other yellow body, and I was able to make the hood fit really well on it, as well as the windshield. And so I'm doing a little swapping around. Since this thing is a running and driving pan, I stripped all the welded brackets off of it and it doesn't look so bad there's a few holes and it's a little bit beat up on the side but it's plenty strong so i'm going to go ahead and just put this body on since this car is registered licensed and drives let's put a decent body on it i got a new front end to put on courtesy of apple tree automotive out in michigan Woo -hoo. anyways they got these killer deals i don't want to really say anything because i'm hoping to get a couple more and here is the citation pan coming off the 65 link pin and we're going to do a little rust repair over here so i figured i'd just put this body on for now and maybe we'll even uh, bolt everything together and derb it around until the new minx bodies show up And just like that, I was able to move the body over. Still got a little adjustment to do, but all the bolt holes are lining up, which is pretty incredible. Every single one of them. Some of you a little bit more cleanup on this pan. I've ordered the new replacement quarter pieces. Changing the hood, bolting it all down. And we're going to derb this thing for a little while since the body is in such nice condition. I mean, look at this. The red headlights taken off or put on. Got a new front beam with adjusters here. And that brings us to the citation. Which is going to be, I think, the donor car for the Fuchsia Glitter. Myers and Manx. We'll introduce this one in a little while. All right, there you have it. This is going to be something I'm just going to cruise around while I wait for my Myers bodies that I have on order. And I hope they get here quick because I am definitely tromping at the bit. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can keep up to date on all these projects that I have going on here on Filet TV. Thanks for watching. Ciao.